Hey guys, today we're going to talk about YouTube. And YouTube is an awesome place for us to get to talk and share with each other and hear lots of different ideas. But just like any social media, you have to be careful about what you're watching, when you're watching, and who you're watching. Um, you know, it feels like you should be able to just turn on anything, but whatever is going into your brain is directly going to affect you. And just for example, if it's 10 o'clock at night, if I'm watching like a keto dessert and I'm kind of hungry, do you think that's probably going to help me along in my journey or maybe deter me? Because then I'm going to be like, man, that whatever looks really good. Or maybe I want something like that. So sometimes choosing when you're watching, you know, food vlogs and things like that, maybe um, before or after you just ate a meal where you're not feeling hungry. But if you're just watching things all the time or all day long, it's going to affect how you eat, what you eat. Because if you're watching them all the time, then it could constantly put you in a state of hunger or keep food on your brain 24-7. And the goal for us is to overcome this, to not have food on your brain 24-7, to learn tips and tricks. So, you know, maybe limiting even the number that you're doing. And I don't think this is, oh gosh, my cat. I don't think this is thought about or talked about a lot of times. Um, just because the same thing as like Facebook, it just becomes this norm that, we just kind of accept as part of our lives now, our media, but you are in control of what you're seeing and when you're seeing it. And it's a good tool and it's really good to relate to people, to get to share what you're doing. But also <clears throat> remember there's a lot of responsibility that you have to think about, okay, is this video going to be good for me? Is this video going to help me? Or do I maybe need to turn this video off? And that's okay and I know we really want to help each other and uplift each other. But if you're watching someone's video and it's really not helping you, you know, for example, I have to be really careful watching some of the keto videos because I love the keto treats that they're doing with lots of different stevia and things like that. But my body doesn't respond well to those. Calories does not matter to me and to my body as much as macros do. So eating even a bunch of the stevia or a bunch more carby things that are less protein or higher fat, um, I don't typically do as well with. And when I watch those things, I really want to eat them. Or, you know, watching people eat like the carb smart ice cream, like, well, I really want that. But for my body, that's not ideal. So if I'm watching that, it's like as if I sit on here and watch like Domino's commercials over and over and over. Eventually, I'm going to want Domino's or the day where I'm weakest or feeling bad about myself or low and I watch that. What are you going to do? I mean, that's the reason why we have commercials and YouTube doesn't fall too far from that, especially the advertising that they do or, you know, you're watching these things like, ooh, like I have the, like the guilt-free brownies, like, oh, I really need to buy those or oh, this protein shake and that protein shake, that you, you've got to be careful of what you're allowing to come into your brain that sometimes you might need to switch something off or only listen to certain people at certain times of the day. But that is also important to your life that, you know, I was kind of thinking about it. I'm like, gosh, you know, I've just been really not happy with the way I've been eating lately. I've kind of changed what I do and I really had a good thing going for myself. And I realized as I was watching way too many YouTube videos and all these crazy awesome ideas that weren't exactly great for my diet, I really wanted to try. And by doing that, I strayed from the things that I was doing that was working for me and for my body. And I didn't think that that was necessarily true for me that I should be doing that anyways. But I thought, hey, if they can do it, maybe I could. And, you know, it doesn't usually go over that well <laughs> when we try to do things that don't work well for us. And also, I was watching a lot of videos. I'm like, oh, I like how they did that video. I want to do a video like that. But maybe it wasn't something that I should be doing or didn't feel right to me to begin with. Um, just because we can even feel swayed by watching what videos were popular or think that that was a good idea. But maybe that's not a video for you. And... Um, 
even sometimes just taping my food, I'm like, well, that's not very interesting. Maybe I should eat this instead. You know, and how, how dumb is that? You know, just some of the things that we do, it's just like, wow, you know, this is really, truly affecting me. I wouldn't do that normally. So if you're finding yourself doing that, you might need to stop and rethinking about what it is you're watching, maybe the videos you're doing, or um, just letting those influences the time of day you're even watching your YouTube channel, or maybe you're even watching too much. Maybe you need to limit yourself. Just like TV, it's all great stuff, and maybe it's not TV, but you're still being susceptible to other people's thoughts and opinions, and it is doing something to your brain. So um, that's my two bits. I hope that helps you. And um, tune in, guys, because I'll probably have a couple more videos coming up here in the next couple days.